Hello, wherever you are on this special planet of, of ours called Earth, I wish you a peaceful and wonderful day or night, wherever you are located on this planet. I want to talk about an NBA topic today. My theme is about the gorilla in the NBA. Before I get into the actual discussion, I want to take us to a little trip down memory lane. For many centuries, whenever it came to dark-skinned people scattered throughout the planet, many people of the dominant Ruling society love to refer to them as monkeys or gorillas. I don't know why. Because the only thing those dark skinned people have in common with a gorilla is that they both got black hair. They got both got black hair. But on a human, the black hair is very fine. You can't see it. Just because we got dark skin, and you heard I said we, so I have to include myself as a dark skin person as well. Just because we got dark skin, the ignorant, unloving, unkind, dominant society say, oh, you got dark skin, so now it's going to refer to you as a monkey or gorilla. But as I stated, I don't know why. Because when you cut off all the monkey or gorilla hair, what color is it? I'm not going to tell you what color it is, but you get the idea. After you cut off all that black hair, all that dark brown hair, what color is that monkey, gorilla, or ape? What color is it? Moving along. Most dark-skinned people in the world have sort of thick lips. But the monkey, the ape, the gorilla, they don't have no lips. Yes, I know sometimes those pictures, they show them poking their, their lips out. But when they're in a, uh, a peaceful state of mind, a calm state of mind, they do not have no chunky, pliable, fat lips. In fact, no creature that I know of on the planet has protruding lips. So, I know that people in a dominant society, for the most part, they don't have no lips. Or their lips are very fine. So, which one is closer to that ape, gorilla, or monkey, or chimpanzee, which one? Now, so that's my trip down memory lane. How the people who have dark skin has always, throughout history, even up to this modern day, because every year we see some type of uh, remark about your monkey, monkey in the jungle, top ape in the forest. We hear stuff like that in the media or in commercials. Even now, those jokes still continue. But as I stated, the only similarity we have is we got dark skin. You cut the monkey's fur off, what color is it? They don't have no lips. So the dark skin people, they have the least in common with the monkey. And we, and we don't have no hairy bodies. Again, most dark skin people don't have hairy bodies. The people who made fun of them, the dominant people, they have hairy bodies. Look at 10 commercials on TV. Let them stick their arm out. See how many of the dominant people actors have a hairy ape looking arm. There we go. Now, let me jump into the top, my NBA thing, the NBA part. 
I noticed over the years, whenever they have an NBA player doing some type of play, they always got to be beating their chest. And the media love to show the athletes yelling with their mouth wide open, just like the angry ape. Tell me if I'm wrong. They never like to have on a sports show or a theme show on a t-shirt the athlete looking calm or color on it. And I do know, I know about the NBA. I know there's a lot of NBA pictures that can be shown on a sports theme show on a t-shirt, but they don't do it. Like LeBron James. He has point guard capabilities. But have you ever seen them show him in a flash photo raising his finger to call out play number two or three when he's thinking? They don't, they're not going to show LeBron James doing that. They will show him making a slam dunk at the dunk. He banging his chest with his mouth wide open. And the reason I made this little discussion because the day while looking at an NBA discussion on YouTube, it was talking about Paul George. They didn't show Paul George in a family photo. They didn't show Paul George giving somebody a high five with a peaceful, peaceful look on his face. They didn't show Paul George raising his finger to say, thank you for giving me the ball and scoring that point. They never showed those in the photograph. They showed Paul George with his mouth wide open, looking ridiculous, his mouth wide open, showing all his teeth yelling. Yelling what? But like I said, they don't show those pictures when the athlete is calm saying, let's run play number 14 on the playlist. They never show the athlete giving another athlete that pound symbol. You know, when they, when they, instead of shaking the hand, they give each other a little pound. They never show that. They rarely show that. They show this sometimes, the athlete hugging the other athlete to say thank you. They show those sometimes, but they don't air it on a sports show when they're talking about that one athlete. Now, I will say this. Michael Jordan, he's been called one of the greatest players of all time. And I'm thankful because I don't ever recall him being shown on a sports show with a snap photo of him looking ridiculous with his mouth wide open as if he's King Kong. All the years I've been looking at the NBA, I don't think Michael Jordan ever slammed. The, when he made a slam, he don't come down banging his chest as if he's in a jungle to, like the top gorilla. And that's why you probably take those pictures. You probably say, I want to show these black men looking like a damn gorilla. Screaming. Yelling. All because they slammed an orange ball through a ridiculous 10 feet hole that's elevated. I'm sorry. A hole that's elevated 10 feet above ground. I don't think I ever saw Michael Jordan beating his chest or Scottie Pippen. I saw Carl Malone doing it sometimes. And though that's good. Those are the pictures they love to show on the sports show. Those are the pictures they love to show. And those are, you know, those steel shot photo of you banging your chest like you King Kong. I don't think I ever saw them using that for the Caucasian athlete. They bang their chest too. But I think I never saw a still photo showing them banging their chest. I know they do it, but not as, they don't show them as much banging their chest. Like they're the greatest in the world. And that's my little take, my good friends. The NBA, definitely NBA. The media. They love to show those still photos with the athlete with his mouth wide open, showing all his teeth, making a gigantic yell as if he is the top gorilla in the jungle. They never show Russell Westbrook because he's a point guard. He is a point guard. 
I have never seen a still photo. Russell Westbrook raising his finger in the air, calling the plays out. They show Russell Westbrook making a slam dunk, banging his chest, screaming, showing all his teeth as if he is the top gorilla. So that's my take, my, my good people, on what I noticed about how the NBA and how the media like to portray the majority ethnic group who are their athletes. They love to show them looking ridiculous. They don't like to show them looking like thinkers. They don't like to show them looking scholarly. They don't like, they don't like to show them looking noble. They like to show them looking ornery, wild, and dangerous looking. As if they're going to eat you, they're going to eat your mother, your wife, and your kids. They will not show them looking like wise men. Thank you for stopping by, my good friend. If you like my little discussion and what I've noticed on how they betray most of those athletes, leave a little comment. If you would like to subscribe to hear more of my intake on typical sports here in the United States, maybe worldwide, please subscribe. If you're a subscriber and you would like to be notified immediately of a new content, click the bell button. And if you found my discussion entertaining, and enlightening, thought provoking, please share it by clicking on that share button on the social media platform that you deem worthy. Thank you for stopping by. Have a wonderful day.